hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the gang today i'll be showing you guys how i achieve my own dollar tree diy paint and sip as well as how i set up my own cheese board platter for our girls night slash galentine's weekend so stay tuned for more details hope you enjoy So before we get started, here's the backstory of how our girls' night came to life. My friend Nadia and I were sick of this pandemic life, so we wanted to have our own little self-care weekend. I wanted to do something creative but within budget, so I decided to host a cocktail hour slash paint and sip. We started the day off with massages, and then we checked into our nice little Airbnb in Uptown Charlotte. I will put the link in the description box below, but it was very nice. Guys, we had way too much fun. My girls Violet and Rahel tied along with us, and we honestly got noise complaints as well, but y'all know how that goes. But before we get into all that, let's just jump right into the whole setup. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the cheese board setup. I got my groceries from Food Lion, but it honestly doesn't matter where you decide to get your groceries from. It's based on your personal preference alone. The wallpaper I have um, set up as a base was from Dollar General. It was only like a dollar, but I'm pretty sure places like Michael's sell them as well. I wasn't going in any particular order. I was just unpacking and sorting it through as I go. It will help if you do have a layout in mind, because right now I was just freestyling and it looked a mess at first, but I ended up going for a more symmetrical look. And that's okay, like you just have to move things around until you like it. Before you place your fruits, please make sure you wash and dry them. Especially if you want to dip them in chocolate, you don't want them too wet to the point where the chocolate ends up sliding off. But that's pretty much the rundown on how I was able to achieve my cheese board. chocolate fountain that I used was gifted to me but it is sold at Walmart for about $30. I put the details in the description box below. It's very easy to use. Once all the pieces are attached you'll plug it in, turn on the switch for the heat and the motor and then you'll add in the melted chocolate on that bottom plate until the chocolate starts to come up and give that waterfall effect. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the next segment, we're going to start setting up our paint and sip table. Of course, you want to place a table cover on the table because it'll get really messy. You're going to be messing around with paints, brushes, and there'll be a lot of drinking involved. So just take your proper precautions just to be on the safe side. Most of the items that I got here were from Dollar Tree. Yes, they were all a dollar. I will let you know if there was anything that I did not get from Dollar Tree, but you can also check the description box below for more detailed information. I'm corny, I like the aprons. I feel like it fit the theme. It does run small and it was only one size, but oh well, it was only a dollar. I'm not complaining. Uh, the paint supplies that I got 
weren't from Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree does offer paint. I just wanted to use what I already had instead of spending more money when I didn't have to. I also went and got individual little plastic mason jar containers. That way everyone can have another water cup available so they can clean out their brushes. Alright, so here's the finished product. You may notice that two canvases are slightly thinner than the other two. That's because the thin ones were from Dollar Tree and the thicker ones were from Walmart that I already had a while back, so I decided to put them into use. Instead of using easels, I just use wine bottles or any object I can find to hold up the canvases. And for the painting, I just drew an outline of whatever picture that we were gonna end up painting and allowed everybody to freestyle. So clearly you guys can see that we were having way too much fun, but girls night was a success. I hope that I was able to provide you with some ideas in case you wanted to host your own events. But honestly, do it. Life is short. Celebrate each other. Have fun. Take pictures. Dance all night. Drink all night. And just celebrate life for no reason. Because uh, why not? But yep. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of my Galentine's Day vlog. We spent the rest of the night playing games and honestly just having great conversation, good vibes. It was beautiful. Shout out to the ladies. The next day, I just got ready. We're about to go to brunch at this place called Restoration Hardware in Charlotte. It's really nice, has beautiful scenery. Last night was a success. Shout out to the girls for making it better than I even imagined. We ended up not going to dinner because, of course, we were late, but it was a lot going on. But I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. We just got ready, we just checked out. We're about to go to brunch, we're running behind as always. But what's new? Hope you guys had a happy Valentine's Day because I know I did. But I'll see you guys when we get to Restoration Heart. <laughs> Finally decided to show up. <laughs> look who finally decided. But she looks good. You look good. Trust me. Comment. Put the comment if she looks good. Shout out to Fenty Beauty. You know Rihanna. You ripping real hard. We got the Savage Honey on too. <laughs> Ooh, it's the details for me. Look at our shoes. Let's get into the pumps. 